Shark Swarm. This made-for-TV movie is largely unremarkable, except for having some of the dumbest locals in shark attack movies. Mutant sharks are causing disappearances left and right, while the townspeople simply continue on their merry way. As per request by the Academy, I present the next nominee for a Darwin Award. I told you we weren't going to get away with this. This one's for Cliff. Come on! Continuing the list is Jaws the Revenge? Ah, uh, no. How do those people sleep at night? Sharks in Venice. It's hard to imagine how such a straightforward premise could have such a convoluted execution. Part Indiana Jones and part Mafia flick, the movie manages to constantly veer from its true stars. Once again, the dignified Stephen Baldwin assumes the fitting role of a professor out to save the day. They're actually reacting to the amount of stock footage. Come on, it'll ease the pain of being in this. You are a bad boy. In the previous Bat Adventure, we saw Batman on the bottom rungs of his bat ladder. But wait, the worst is yet to come. Talk about suspending your disbelief. Come on, Robin, you used to be an acrobat.
target is heading for the Golden Gate Bridge. Sir. Man, this invasion keeps getting more ridiculous. Ramirez, kill the shark with your bare hands! So what have we learned? They use little stock footage. Nobody know the difference. While we're on it, why do people keep running after they reach the beach? It's not like a shark could possibly... Hey. 